Hello YouTube, welcome to um, top 10 games that I'm looking forward to collecting this year. Um, this video, as well as the description will say, um, goes in pair with the top 10 games that I'm looking forward to playing this year, which you can find on my channel and which you should sub subscribe to, by the way. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over, uh, I wrote a list here, uh, 10 games that I'm looking forward to you know, buying to have in my collection. Uh, basically, the difference between games I want to collect and games I want to play is the games I want to play, I would buy them to play, I guess. Like, you know, the reason I'm buying them is to play, whereas the collecting ones, it would be because I really just think they'd be nice on a shelf, you know? Because really, no, not, not, and I, I don't really think the most games would be worth $200 just to, to play, you know? They, they have to have some shelf value, you know, to, they have to show something more than just a few hours of playing really and vice versa of course you know all these games i want to play i don't know if you can really understand the difference just try to stick with me anyways uh first up is uh, a very rare game for the super nintendo called aero fighters so aero fighters is one of the rarest games for the super nintendo that's basically the reason i want it, it just it appeals to me and i like this type of game and uh yeah so this game is, I also really want to play it, that's why it was in my top 10 games to play, Super Noah's Ark 3D. I won't give a little clip since I gave one in the last video. Uh, the next one is a Game Boy Color game, uh, and it's really the only extremely rare game, I think, for the console. Uh, it's called Shantai, Shantai, uh, you know, you can correct me if I, if I pronounce that wrong, uh, I won't be offended. Uh, yeah, it's just a really rare game that uh, I want to have on my shelf. I've, I actually have played it on an emulator. It really isn't that great, so that's, you know, kind of the difference, I guess. Uh, then you've got DuckTales 2, which I might be getting my hands on through a trade purchase type thing. I don't want to get my hopes up, because I might not get it. Uh, it's just a really rare game, and I have DuckTales 1. I don't think there's that much of a difference. DuckTales 2 is just one of those rare games that, you know, everybody kind of knows is rare, and... Uh, uh, it's it's a great game. I, you know, it looks it looks fun at least. Uh, you know, I played the original one, and I think they're about the same. So I'll also be looking forward to playing that. Now this game, I actually have the um, the box for only. Uh, so I you know it's, it's a really rare game, and I need to get the game for it. It's called the Yogi Bear's Gold Rush. It's for the original Game Boy. And when it's complete in the box, it's extremely valuable. So, I've only ever seen that on eBay and stuff, so I'm hoping to get that soon. Then another game, I have seen it complete in the box for $150, and from what I understand, that's a um, pretty good deal. It's uh, I'm not normally a fan of these types of games, but I have played an emulator, and for some reason, there's just something about this game that I did enjoy more. Uh, Castlevania Dracula X. So this is probably the only Castlevania game other than the one for the Adventures for Game Boy that I'm really looking for. I'm generally not a big Castlevania fan, you know, I, I don't dislike it, but I'm not, you know, I won't go out of my way to find them all. Um, this is a different story, though, I really, I really want to find it, it's an extremely rare game, also one of the rarest for the Super Nintendo, and that's why I want it. Uh, this game isn't as rare, I just think it'll be one that's really fun to show off on myself, because it's so crazy. It's called Bible Buffet, you know, with you have like the hot dog and the hamburger and all that stuff on the cover. Just funny. I find all the you know Wisdom Tree games extremely like, really funny. Then you got Mother Three, which I also showed in my other video. It's a game that I want for collection and for playing purposes. You know, I'm just really hoping to get that. Then you've got Pikmin Two, which from what I understand is extremely rare also. Um, and finally, Mega Man One, Four, Five, Six, and Seven. Those are all of them that I'm missing from any Mega Man games on the um, Nintendo or Super Nintendo, and there's you know it'll take me a while to get all of them, but I know I know where I can get number seven at least for sixty bucks. You know I'll see if I end up getting that, and uh, yeah. So unlike my NES collection of Mega Man games, my Super Nintendo collection of them is only missing one game and that is Mega Man 7. I already have Soccer and the other th and the three X's. And basically um 
yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting this so I can complete the Super Nintendo set of Mega Man, Mega Man games, and it just looks like a ton of fun. So thank you for watching this video. Um, you know, you know, like it, comment what your what your what games you're looking forward to collecting or playing, for that matter. You know, you should go check out my other top ten video and uh, all my other videos. Uh, I really hope you enjoy everything I do, and uh, you know, really thank you for watching. See you later.